Member of Parliament for Damango, who doubles as the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Honorable Samuel Abujinapo, has inaugurated the Savannah Regional Lands Commission to see to the efficient utilization of lands and other natural resources in the Savannah region. A Tamale High Court judge led the new members of the Regional Lands Commission, chaired by Dr. Alhaji Adam Sulemana, to swear the oaths. Speaking at the inaugural ceremony, the Lands and Natural Resource Minister charged members of the Commission to use their wide-ranging expertise to make administration of lands in the region more efficient. It's a very important natural resource. It is the catalyst for social economic development in every nation. But if not well managed, it can lead to conflicts and disasters. It is for this reason that the Constitution established the Lands Commission and the Regional Lands Commission to see the efficient management and utilization of land in our country. Fortunately, Mr. Chairman, the Savannah region is blessed with a large tract of this natural resource making it the largest of the 16 regions in Ghana in terms of land size. We have, a great, we have a great opportunity to leverage on this resource to accelerate social economic development in the region. How we do this area depends largely on the Regional Lands Commission, who are mandated by Article 2601 of our national constitution to perform the functions of the Lands Commission in this region. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the membership of the Regional Lands Commission has been carefully circumscribed by the framers of our national constitution. Apart from the chairperson who is appointed by the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, the other members are drawn from professional groups, traditional leaders, and local authorities. Honorable Samuel Abu Jinapo expressed optimism that the Commission will sensitize key stakeholders on the need to register their lands so as to fulfill its constitutional mandate. More importantly, the representatives of these groups are nominated by the groups themselves. The diverse expertise that the Constitution requires to form the membership of the Regional Lands Commission is a clear indication of the importance the framers of our national constitution attached to land administration and management. And distinguished personality, Dr. Alhaji Adam Suleiman Achanso, to chair the, the Savannah Regional Lands Commission. And it is my favorite hope. Executive Secretary for the Lands Commission bemoaned the lack of accommodation for the members of the commission and appealed for support. There's a lot of work ahead of us because it's a new region. And therefore, we will want to start it on a new note, devoid of all the problems that we have seen with land administration in the other regions. For that reason, you will be starting on a digital base. We are going to have digital records migrated from uh, the northern regions to here to start. The first challenge we have with that is that we do not have a, a premises yet. We are working assiduously to renovate an accommodation we have identified in Demango here as a temporary office, pending the building of a formal office for you as quickly as possible. We will need your support for that. The chairman of the Savannah Regional Lands Commission lauded the minister and other leaders for appointing him and his colleagues for the enormous task. On behalf of my colleagues and on my own behalf, I wish to express our profound gratitude to the Honorable Minister of Lands and Natural Resources and the Member of Parliament for Damangu, Lawyer Samuel Abu Dinapo, for the confidence reposed in us by appointing us, by appointing my colleagues and me as the very first members of the Savannah Regional Lands Commission. Honorable Chairman, the founding members of any organization are revered by posterity for their hard work and the sacrifices they make 
for the organization to flourish. In all, the members of the commission swore three oaths, including an oath of office, oath of allegiance, and oath of secrecy to administer their mandates as established by law.